Saskatchewan has seen a rise in COVID-19 cases over the last two weeks. And with the rise comes a change in message from the provincial government and health officials. And this all happening while the province tried to pr help bring the CFL to Regina. To catch us up on what's been going on at the Saskatchewan legislature this week, we're joined by our provincial affairs reporter, Adam Hunter. Adam, let's start with the increase in cases. How has the government's messaging changed? Well, we saw the most recent uh, example of that uh, last night, Christy, as Premier Scott Moe posted a picture of himself wearing uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders mask on his social media pages. He's asking people to put on a mask when they cannot social distance. Uh, this is something that has changed uh, over the last uh, few weeks. More and more people are calling for mask wearing. We're seeing other uh, communities in Canada and elsewhere where they're mandating mask wearing indoors and in some cases outdoors. Uh, there's been a bit of pushback on that in Saskatchewan. Uh, recent polls have shown that Saskatchewan is uh, the pot province with the most uh, people adverse to wearing a mask in public but that, those attitudes could be changing as you mentioned the rise in cases uh, mostly in the south part of the province but overall we've seen our biggest spike to date uh, with the num number of active cases peaking uh, on Thursday at 218 and that was the largest number at one time since the pandemic started so the other thing that the government's saying about messaging is not to stigmatize communities that may be affected by COVID-19. Now they named a, a several Hutterite uh, communities uh, with cases of COVID-19 and, and that prompted some to say that that was too much, that was gonna uh, stigmatize, alienate, uh, cause some uh, prejudice against uh, Hutterites across the province. We see in Manitoba where the government had identified a Hutterite colony that had an outbreak and then pulled back on that and said they would no longer do that. Uh, but people here in Saskatchewan seem to be asking for more information about where COVID-19 cases. Some even saying they want to know if it's in their neighborhood. Privacy Commissioner coming out this week, Christy, and saying again that the government could provide more information on specifics of cases without jeopardizing the privacy of the people who have been infected. And Adam, I mean, the CFL in the news this week, the government trying to make Regina the hub city for a shortened season. How did it react when Winnipeg was chosen? Yeah, this was an interesting one, Christy. Earlier this week, we found out that the government had put in a bid uh, last week, along with Calgary and Winnipeg, to host the CFL for a shortened season to be a, quote, hub city. Uh, they, their bid was more than Manitoba's bid. It was $3 million, about half a million dollars more than Manitoba's bid. Uh, but it was ultimately chosen that Winnipeg would be the host site. Now, we were in a news conference with Premier Scott Moe and Dr. Shahab asking questions about why bring uh, the CFL here, some of the dangers potentially of bringing hundreds of football players for a shortened season, uh, potential spread of the virus, how, how they could keep it safe and why they're bringing it in. During that news conference, the news broke that Winnipeg was chosen. It seems that Premier Mo knew ahead of time that, uh, that Regina wouldn't be chosen, but he did say that the economic benefits to having the players housed and fed here would be a benefit. He also said that it was important for the health of the league and the health of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in their future that the uh, uh, province of Saskatchewan be involved and uh, with that three million dollar commitment though they won't be paying that but that brought some questions on is what what else is the government deciding to to spend on and such short notice and some groups calling for money for for their uh, needs because the pandemic has, has hurt a lot of uh, communities a lot of groups as we know uh, they're calling out well if you can spend money for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders to bring the CFL here uh, you should be putting up money for for other things including education uh, we hear more from uh, teachers and uh, and parents this week about concerns about sending their kids back to school and they're wanting more specifics on how the government plans to keep them safe and with school starting in just a few weeks, Christy. All right. Well, thanks so much for this, Adam. You're welcome.